The sound of a cuckoo bird's distinct call may remind you of simpler days. A peaceful spring day. The wind is gentle and nature is just waking up. That's the part where there should be a record scratch. Because this is as far as wholesome as cuckoo birds get. Beyond that, they're these nightmarish masters of deception and appalling children siblings. They can't be that bad, you may be thinking. Suspend your disbelief. It starts with the mom cuckoo birds. Her parental duties extend to carrying the egg. And that's about it. Forget about building a nest, vigilantly protecting the egg, slaving over finding prey to feed her offspring. No, all this single mama wants to do is get back out there to the world and mingle all over again. Where does that leave this poor, abandoned baby? Don't feel bad just yet. Cuckoos belong to a very specific type of animal. They're brood parasites. It's as ominous as it sounds. That means they're more or less as bad as they come. They're born evil, <laughs> literally. Out of the egg, blinding, featherless, and stumbling, they'll A, stab the other eggs in the nest, or B, throw them out and to definite death. What? 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 Before I tell you exactly what's happening, please press the like button and help my videos get more attention. The mom cuckoo bird never has any intention to raise her young. She'll search for a foster mom, usually targeting reed warblers, meadow pipits, or dunnocks. To pull off this ruthless scheme, she'll watch from a distance first, waiting for the host parent to leave the nest. In some fascinating and morbid cases, she'll mimic a noise similar to Eurasian sparrow hawks to signal danger to make the parent leave the nest. From there, it's duck and roll and land in the nest, where she'll quickly lay her egg among the others already there. Like offspring like mother, apparently, she may even kill one of the eggs to make room. And so the warbler parent, for example, doesn't think there are too many eggs in the nest. What comes next goes beyond sibling rivalry. Cuckoo eggs only hatch after around 11 days in the nest. The other eggs, obviously with no means of defending themselves and with a gullible parent, are attacked almost immediately. Cuckoo birds, again, blind, featherless, and determined, will actually pick up the other eggs, even carrying them on their back. One by one, the eggs get yeeted over the edge of the nest. When the cuckoo bird hatches leagues before the other eggs do and grows up to six times bigger than the parent host, you would think that the parent would be like, no way that is mine. The pure-hearted and oblivious creatures that they are, the parent doesn't notice that anything's amiss. It will lovingly spit food into its mouth as if it was its own child. The parent will even dedicate all its energy into feeding this overzealous, super violent child that remarkably looks nothing like them. Come moving day, around 20 days later, the cuckoo will leave the nest and come right back for the host to feed it. Believe it or not, cuckoo birds have this down to a science. Evolution favors the strong, and in this twisted example of Darwin's survival of the fittest, cuckoos have evolved to increase the odds of this parent trap working. Sure, the baby that grows up will tower over the parent after violently murdering its siblings and throwing their eggs out, and the parent will be none the wiser. But before that, there's a good chance that the parent will notice a different looking egg in the nest. One of the cuckoo bird's adaptations is egg coloration, which is surprisingly similar in color to the host's eggs. The poor parent host didn't sign up to be a parent for this long. Meanwhile, the baby bird will never actually meet its real mother. Its children, though, will carry on the family legacy, throwing their siblings out of the nest. Check out this video. It's specially selected for you. You'll like it.